What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. <laughs> I just bought this. It's Black Rifle Coffee Company, one of my favorite coffee companies. A portion of the profits from this uh, uh, company go to veterans, law enforcement, first responders, and um, various other, uh, you know, kind of tactical organizations. Whoa! The box just jumps out of my hand like a Navy SEAL. Hey, I got this little tiny box because one of the things that I do like is having instant coffee. And I know you guys might go, poo poo, I don't drink instant coffee. I'll tell you what, I've tried a lot of instant coffee and they're pretty good these days. But, uh, the convenience of it is really awesome whether it's just making a quick cup even in the office or on the road or whatever um, it's just nice to have a kind of a nice regular uh, cup of coffee and so uh, I was really surprised that they made this 100% um, Arabica beans here comes in a little, little like uh, ammo can type style pouch box and here we go 20 pouches and I love this little look here so uh, can you tell what this is? If you've been following my channel, you, you maybe should have an idea. But it looks like a little MRE, man. Kind of that same brown color, BRC. Would normally say, which Black Rifle Coffee Company would say MRE right there. So they look like little tiny MREs. How cool is that, man? I just love the fact that these guys are always thinking like this. Really small little uh, uh, packet here. I also like the fact that it's perforated across the top. Should be nice and easy to open. And, you know, I think the thing is... So I was talking to my buddy the other day about it, and he's like, I don't like uh, instant coffee. And I think my problem with it fundamentally is that I think most people add too much water. Black Rifle Coffee Company mug here. So we're doing the whole thing up. I'm going to open this up. Is that people take these little packets and uh, pour them into their cup, which I'm going to do right here. Oops, I'm kind of manhandling this thing. So I can... Uh, do a little bit better job. Oh, well, kind of did a pretty piss poor job opening this uh, packet up. Operator error. I am not a coffee operator. Okay, so I've got most of it out here. That was that was pretty poor. I think you should just do it with a little more authority and rip the top off and then uh, pour it out. But there we go. We got most of it in there. And as you can see, we've got the coffee grounds in there and an instant coffee feel like Parker Schnabel painting for gold um, this is coffee gold though all right so my issue is that people um, think that it's gonna be a full cup of coffee and they add too much water and they're always like it takes water down it tastes thin I don't like it blah 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 and that's the issue is that you you're kind of not really adding the amount of water you're not you're supposed to and the other thing I think a lot of people do is not don't they don't add enough hot water so first of all, I've got some water here. I had it boiling. Um, it may be actually kind of too hot, but I'm gonna just go ahead and pour this over the coffee. And and I think the key here is sub eight ounces. That's that's really kind of what I'm guessing. I don't see necessarily um, specific instructions here, but you just can't make a really big cup of coffee. Now you could just make more, add more instant coffee mix, but. I, Again, that's the fundamental problem I think people are making is just too much water. And so, you know, if you want a nice light cup of coffee or watery cup of coffee, just keep water in that sucker down. I can tell you here, pretty hot. I'm still getting a little steam off the top here, but I've let it sit here for a couple minutes. So let's go ahead and just try this. I didn't even stir it up. Try to use the pour action to uh, get it nice and mixed. Oh, that's good. Damn, that's a good cup of coffee, man. Holy smokes. Instant cup, cup, cup of coffee. Just black. Just 100% Arabica beans and... Man, that's good. You know what? It's right between the medium and the dark roast to me. You know, it's not... It doesn't have that burnt taste like Starbucks does, but maybe just a little bit... Um... You know just a little bit on the higher end it's kind of like on the high middle range right kind of that that um that uh enthusiastically medium roast so i think this is gonna uh, satisfy a lot of people if you like kind of that uh french vanilla medium roast um this is gonna be kind of right in that gonna right in that range not bitter at all um man it's smooth but it has a lot of punch and like i said don't put any more water than I did here. Maybe even a little less if you like it a little punchier. Um, but uh, or use a couple packets. But th that's that's the big mistake people make on instant coffee. Otherwise, man, if you just serve this to someone, 
no way. No way would they be able to tell you that this wasn't instant. This tastes like a delicious cup of coffee. I, I might actually pull that uh, joke on some people. See if we can get some real coffee snobs to see if they can tell the difference between instant and fresh brewed coffee. But man, Black Rifle, you guys are always thinking. I love the coffee, but love the fact that I've got instant coffee from them now. Uh, something I can take with me on the road, have it work for a quick cup. And man, it's just so, so convenient. And then again, dress it up with co uh, cream and sugar if that's how you like it. But as a man's man, I like a black. Peter Von Panda. I'll put a link to the description. Out.